I'm on a regolith uh, of a pyroclastic nature all around me. The, the soil hasn't changed. It's still the same pyroclastic uh, red soil. We are currently in a hangar in the Netherlands, not too far from Estek. Luca took control of this rover from the International Space Station. He interacted with a back room full of scientists to select geologically interesting rocks and he was able to then pick them up with the robotic arm and put them in the sample container and then repeat that on the three sides. Can you confirm that the rock you're looking, you want is between Bravo 3 and Bravo 4? Luca, that's correct. What made it uh, interesting is the tools that he was using for that. We gave him a device that's called the Sigma 7 and a kind of a joystick that allows him to feel exactly what the arm felt. And Luca, we are very happy with these samples. This is great. This is part of the Meteron project. What you saw today is a full rehearsal of what an exploration mission would look like. We try to devise all the tools and techniques that uh, we foresee in the next step of the moon exploration. Of course, we did that in a, in a hangar. We want to control the environment, we want to control a little bit the experiment. But our next step will be to go into an analog site. We plan to go to Mount Etna next year to do a full-scale rehearsal. And when Luca is back from, uh, from a station, he will be again put to the test next to his hometown uh, in, uh, in Catania. ISA is, together with uh, international partners, working on the return to the moon. ISA is uh, building the service module of the Orion spacecraft. Uh, we are also uh, developing uh, uh, some uh, elements of uh, the lunar orbiting outpost called the Gateway. So our next step is really in the coming years to build that orbital outpost and give the ability to the crew to perform typical tasks that they would be doing on the surface.